Last week, the world watched and waited as search and rescue teams tried to find the Titan submersible that went missing in the North Atlantic. On Thursday, authorities confirmed that all five men who were on board had tragically been lost. Now marine experts and Coast Guard officials continue to investigate the tragic implosion of the submersible. KSVY News supporter Jacob Dizon spoke with one local man who took that same submersible voyage with Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush two years ago. Back in 2021, Ocean Gate began offering submarine tours down to the wreckage of the Titanic, and Bill Price from Cayucas tells me he was one of the first to dive beneath the sea in that same vessel that imploded in the Atlantic. When I first uh, heard that the, tub the sub went missing, uh, uh, the first thing I searched for was who was on board. Local adventurer Bill Price says two summers ago he accompanied his friends Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush and dive expert Paul Henry Nargalay to photograph the wreckage of the Titanic. We came on it uh, from the side which was really impressive. We saw this massive wall and then we uh, motored over it to the bow section and we got some fabulous pictures of the the front of the bow. However, following the fatal implosion of the Titan submarine last week that killed two of Price's friends, as well as three others, he tells me there were serious concerns on his trip to the Titanic as well. There was a situation that the normal weights that are designed to release, the release mechanism um, when we activated it did, did not work. Um, there was a workaround. Stockton uh, had suggested that we tilt and roll the sub to get it at a vantage point where these weights, which were in a um, in a rack, were able to release from the top, and that uh, allowed us to to rise back up to the surface. Meanwhile, Price's family tell me they've been hugging their dad tighter, knowing that just two years ago, he was aboard the same submarine that took the lives of five adventurers. It was really hard to watch being so close to that. Um, there was a lot of sadness for my dad when I found out that his buddies were down there. That was when it really hit me. It was such like a pivotal and like once in a lifetime experience for him. So that, you know, is interesting. But at the same time, that whole thing is kind of blanketed with this sadness. And as news of the search for the Titan sub has taken the world by storm, Bill Price says he's counting himself lucky. I have maybe a little bit survivor's guilt, uh, knowing that I was lucky and I was able to come back. Um, at the same time, it was just, it's been an emotional whirlwind for, for me. Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Bill Price says about an hour into his voyage, the sub also lost communication with their support vessel, but they were eventually able to relay messages using a sonar device.